My name is David Silver. I'm the chief of urology at Maimonides Medical Center. Urology is a specialty that's got open surgery, which is very traditional, and closed surgery, like laparoscopy. It's got endoscopy. The specialty runs the gamut from pediatrics all the way up through geriatrics. So it's a six year total training, of which 48 months are mandated by the ACGME of urology, and the other six months are spent in urology, six months in surgery, and another full year spent doing research. The Momondi's residency program, the Brookdale residency program, used to be two standalone programs. But as of three and a half years ago, uh, the two programs combined into one. Compared to Brookdale, Momondi's is, is a uh, high volume center. You're gonna do multiple cases. You are seeing more consults and you are doing more things. But because of that, the junior residents are spending much more of their time handling floor work and less of that time handling um, things in, in, in the operating room. So they don't get that same exposure. The opportunity to go to Brookdale slows it down a little bit and gives you that opportunity to get into the OR, which you don't do as much on the lower P uh, PGY uh, levels at, at, at Maimonides. The benefit of coming to Maimonides or somewhere in the middle of Brooklyn is that you are going to see advanced pathology that you might not see elsewhere. We at Maimonides see the complete spectrum of disease from the most simple basic urologic complaints in the office setting to the most complex urologic oncology that require multiple surgical teams to the sickest patients presenting to the emergency room. They will see the complete spectrum of illness, the complete spectrum of complexity, and a complete multidisciplinary approach to care from our cancer program to our surgical programs. We see everybody. Uh, we see immigrants, we see people who have been here for a long time. We're very close to Brooklyn Chinatown, so we see a lot of Asian, Chinese po population. On Fifth Avenue, a few avenues away, we have a, a Hispanic and also Arabic populations. We see a lot of um, Arabic and Hispanic patients. A lot of the patients who come here are either underprivileged or they're straight off of a plane. Um, they come from other places or communities that don't have access to health care. So you're really getting a wider slice of society. And we take care of them all through the context through which they come with. And that's really a large strength of Maimonides and Brooklyn in general. Maimonides is really unique in that we have a pelvic floor center that is really a cohesive group. It involves myself, a urogynecologist who is trained in the OBGYN side of things, and two colorectal surgeons, as well as a pelvic floor physical therapist. So it's a unique program. It is the only pelvic floor center in Brooklyn, and one of a few in the country, actually. And Maimonides actually has the highest number of deliveries in all of New York State. So I'm sure that for the OBGYN residents, that's kind of overwhelming, but for you know me and for the urology residents, what a great opportunity to have tons of patients with lots of pathology. We are basically the only place in Brooklyn for male infertility, which sounds, uh, which sounds crazy because you know there's two and a half million people, if not more, uh, in Brooklyn on its own. And Brooklyn is the type of pathology you see in Brooklyn. It's just conducive to learning anything. You know? So the things you see in the textbook are not necessarily things that you're never going to see. You're going to see everything here. From a technical, technological, kind of advanced treatment standpoint, you're going to have fusion biopsies and you're going to have robotic surgery, whether it's for bladder or prostate or kidney or in groin for penile. It's not so much that we obviously have that and all of our residents come out well trained in it. It's how we train them using it, how we use the tools. And that's probably the difference between programs. There's no question about it. Residency is a scary time. The most important two things I would say in terms of being able to gain comfort as you go up the ranks in residency um, are one, the opportunity to fail. You need to be allowed to make decisions. You need to be given some leeway. Um, but then also the backing of very knowledgeable mentors. Um, and then here at Maimonides, we have both things. Our goal is to train leadership. We want our residents to be as well-rounded as possible in all aspects of, of their training, and to go out into whatever practice setting that they choose and feel comfortable rising to the top and leading.